Hi, I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. Now, the more observant among you will probably have noticed that I'm British. And being British, I must therefore be obsessed with the weather. Recent research reveals that 94% of Brits admitted to having talked about the weather within the previous six hours. Genuine statistic are founded online. Now, New Blue have given me another great reason to want to talk about the weather. Weathercast. Let's take a look. At its simplest, Weathercast lets you display an up-to-date forecast of weather conditions at any location in the world. It's highly configurable and a breeze to set up. That's a light breeze from the northeast, in case you were wondering. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple project using Weathercast, how to get the weather for multiple locations, how to customise the design to fit your story, managing different weather formats for different localities, displaying the next day's forecast rather than today's conditions, and we'll finish off by producing a seven-day forecast integrated with live video. The two components of Weathercast are a suite of custom graphics and the Weathercast data controllers. Let's set up a simple scenario. In this case, my business, Extreme Travel, streams a weekly show in which we promote vacations where you spend one week in the coldest locations on Earth and the next week in the hottest. This week's holiday locations are Oymayakon in Siberia, the coldest permanently inhabited human settlement on Earth, and Bamako in Mali, which, as I'm recording this in January, is presently the hottest place on the planet. I mean, what would you pack? In the weather folder, located in the graphics library, you'll find the default weathercast graphics, and, as always, hovering over a graphic will show you an animated preview. I'll drag the clean current weather graphic into the project panel and you'll see that it's already populated with dummy weather conditions. So let's replace that data with our chosen locations. To do that, I need to select a data controller in the project panel by clicking Add Source General Weathercast. And in this case, we'll choose Current. Now, if we look at the Properties panel, you'll see this has added a new tab for us to configure Weathercast. The first thing I want to do is to add my first holiday location, and that's Oymayakon. I'll click on Add Location, search for Oymayakon, notice I can do that by name or postal code, and click Done. There are a couple of things I can configure here, including being able to display values in metric or non-metric format. For now, I'll stick with non-metric. I can also change the displayed language here, but for obvious reasons, we'll keep this in English. A glance at the preview pane shows us that the fields have been populated with real-time, live conditions in Oymayakon. I want to change the time to display it in a more friendly format instead, and that's very simple to do. Just click on Link Data, select Local Time, and drag it over to the graphic. Let's add our second location, Bamako, over in the Weathercast tab. And if I click on Bamako, you can see we jump from perishingly cold to toasty warm in an instant. I'll play the graphic out so you can see it animating on. And now let's set the different locations to autoplay. So each one is shown sequentially for the number of seconds I choose, in this case, five. Now these graphics look gorgeous, but the background isn't exactly what I want. So let's change that by hopping back into the Properties tab and scrolling down to Background. I'll pick my travel company background, and that animates in beautifully. I mentioned using metric values earlier. Well, as my travel business customers are mostly from the UK, and over here we use degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit, I'll click on Use Metric, and the change is immediately reflected in the graphic. However, for reasons that I simply cannot fathom, although we use metric temperatures over here, we still use miles per hour for speed. No worries, you'll see I have a variable called wind secondary. If I drag that onto the graphic, I now have wind displayed in miles per hour and temperatures displayed in degrees Celsius. I could go on adding more and more locations as necessary, but if I end up with too much to easily manage within the Captivate interface, I can open the whole Weathercast tab in a dedicated, uncluttered local browser window. While we're here, notice that at the bottom of the Weathercast controller, we're presented with a snapshot preview showing the current weather conditions at each location, as well as a daily preview of the forecast for up to 10 days in the future. How handy is that? 
Now, what if I want to show a forecast for the weather tomorrow rather than today? Easily done. In this example, I'll use the clean single day weather graphic, bind it to the Weathercast daily controller, then if they're not already displayed, click link data to show the variables. You'll see that here I have a number of new options, day plus zero, day plus one, and so on. Weathercast describes today as day plus zero. Tomorrow is day plus one, the day after is day plus two, and so on. I want to show tomorrow's data, so I twirl down day plus one, and then I can drag the variables into the graphic. Let's change the time to show the relevant day instead by dragging in the weekday value. And I want to display high and low temperatures, so I'll use those values and edit their labels. I'll link icon, condition and wind data. And there's tomorrow's forecast all set up. Let's quickly step through one more example and look at a weekly forecast. I'll drag the clean seven day weather graphic into a new project. Add the Weathercast Daily Controller. You see it's retained the locations from my previous examples, so I'll delete those and add my hometown of Yateley in Hampshire, England. And there's the seven days of pretty nothingy weather, all automatically set up and ready to broadcast. If I want to use this forecast graphic as part of a wider production, there are a couple of other tricks I can apply. Firstly, in the Properties tab, I can turn off the background, which allows me to use this graphic against any other video source. Secondly, I can resize and reposition the graphic to suit my specific layout. Just for fun, let's bring in that Siberian location again and display the graphic over a live webcam of the location in question. Doesn't that look inviting? And Captivate being what it is, I can of course group these two elements into a shot, along with other sources, such as this picture-in-picture, picture, allowing me to play out all the items simultaneously. And there it is, a whistle-stop tour of the fantastic Weathercast functions, available to you now in New Blue Captivate. Oscar Wilde said that talking about the weather was the last refuge of the unimaginative. Well, I beg to differ. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. Thanks for watching.